Ooh, hello. It's been so long. Wait. Uh, why am I not? Why am I not hearing alerts? What? Hello? I can't hear my alerts. Oh, there we go. It's working now. <sighs> Hello? Uh, the Rise of Troy. Thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Tyler, thank you so much for the three months in a row. Who's your favorite Korean? What the heck? Uh, this is good. No, sorry. Flybunny, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. For six months. Oh, well, if it isn't, sorry, I English is my second language. I heard that's not my favorite Korean. Hello, hello. Oh man, there's gonna be a lot of resubs. I haven't streamed in like two weeks. Oh man. Uh, Fly Bunny, thank you so much for the six months. This is good, thank you so much for the two months. The homie 408, thank you so much for the five months. Snell child Snell Trail, thank you so much for the three months in a row. Poner with the nine months. Whoa. Uh Rendus, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. The Lentos89, thank you so much for the three months. It's just the whole resub. Sorry, guys. We'll, we'll let it roll through for a bit. Yeah, I haven't streamed in a long time. Took a long break. We're back. Yo, that Verge video was not bad. No, it wasn't bad at all. I don't think it was a bad video at all. It's just I just got a clickbait, you know. I'm hoping the Verge notices me and then we can collab. I no, I don't think it was a bad bad video at all. Um, I mean, they definitely could have done a lot more, but I I don't think it was a bad video at all. Uh, Fanta, hello. What do you mean, notice you? I thought you were already famous. No, I'm not famous at all. <laughs> And if you guys haven't noticed, we do have new mods now. The mods have been chosen. I pinged my Discord about it. I don't think it was worth pinging Twitter or anywhere else, but yeah, we do have new mods, guys. Welcome to new mods. <laughs> Just put your sticker on my water bottle. Oof. I want to see it. Let me see it. Let me see it. Ham Kenobi, hello! A new mod. Shenanigans D, also a new mod, hello. Functionality, hello. I should remove this song. You know why? Hope you had a great day. This is the only Twitch person I watch. Oof, thank you, Quantum. But did I win Nike? What did what? The PS3 just happened? Crap! I don't know. I was setting up for stream before this. If it happened, well, there you go. I did not enter it. <laughs> You missed it? Oh well. Another day my wallet is saved. Uh, why does it cost so much to build a custom board compared to buying a board from something like Logitech? Um, the, it's just the, the quality of materials used is much different and better in my opinion. I mean, a, a part of it has to do with the fact that custom boards are low quantity runs. I mean, when you can mass produce something, the price point um, does drastically drop. But custom keyboards and custom kits 
aren't at a point where it's mass produced. Like if, if you could mass produce some of the high end keyboards, they wouldn't be going for the price they are currently. But I don't, I don't think it, it would ever hit the price point of companies like Logitech. Like there are, uh, there is a quality difference. Do you have a Kono code? Nope, Kono does not have any code for me, unfortunately. What keyboard do you use at work? I cycle through all of my keyboards. So there is no dedicated work keyboard. What? Oh man, we're just gonna have a bunch of resubs today. <laughs> but the rise of Troy, thank you so much for gifting five tier one subs. Holy, thank you so much. Uh, and Key Key Labs chat, thank you so much for the two hundred bits. Uh, thoughts on U eighty? I'm bugging Rama to send me one. <laughs> we'll see if they send me one. Um, I, I am trying to get my hands on the U80. We'll see. I, I mean, I, I want to play around with it. I, I am a fan of Rama's aesthetics. As for whether their new mounting thing they're working on is effective or not, uh, hard to tell. No one really knows. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I, I'm personally a fan of Rama's aesthetics. And Quantum Butt, thank you so much for the $2 tip. Have you seen GMK Dracula? Tell us what you think. Uh, I've said this multiple times on my Discord. I think GMK Dracula is a must buy. It's a must buy in my opinion. They call me Nox, thank you so much for the 500 bits. Yeah, glad to be back. Glad to be back. It was, it was so sad seeing my like numbers tank while I wasn't streaming. <laughs> it's kind of scary. Like the streaming streaming business, you miss out on a week and your numbers just drop. I think this is the longest break I've taken. Yeah, my numbers tanked. Feels bad. But you gotta you gotta grind back to the top. Was it a vacation? Yeah it was. I went back home last weekend. And I will go through all the resubs afterwards. Actually, let's go through it now. Uh, Given, thank you so much for the two months in a row. Mr. Hinks, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Reds, tw thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Um, if you got gifted a sub from the Rise of Troy, please thank him. Kiba Food, thank you so much for the three months. You are now a Cherry MX Red Badge. Nishiki Renai, thank you so much for the three months in a row as well. Uh, Tea Types, I need Tea Types desk mat avail. Uh, I, I want to make one, but it's not my priority yet. I, I will definitely make a keycap. I mean, not keycap, uh, desk mat in the future. Uh, Cake, thank you so much for the two months in a row. Luxury, thank you so much for the five months. Oliver, thank you so much for the two months. ADV, thank you so much for the 10 bits. Is it just me or is the music loud? It's slightly a bit too loud. Star Lord, thank you so much for the tier 1 sub. Functional, thank you so much for 2 months. Ham Kenobi with the 8 months. Zekin with the 10 months. 10 months. I don't think there's an 11 month yet. Kinda loud. Dino Overwatch, hello. Uh, let me see if I could reduce it a little bit. Hopefully it should be quieter now. Uh, Saucer, we thank you so much for the nine months. Shelbs Jr., thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Zanier, five months. Tracer Glowtail, four months. Upos, three months with the tier two. Proximity for the four months. Scott Tarlow for the three months. Foramen, two months. Uh, Flybunny 63, 6 months. Shenanigans D, 5 months. Taciturn Photographer, 4 months. Key Cult, 3 months. TYMM, 4 months. Valentos, 3 months. Okay, I caught up. 
Yo, Ed, hello! You did you finish streaming? Oh, I thought you'd be streaming by now still. And I missed more. Pumpkin, thank you so much for the two months. Taco, thank you so much for gifting Comet a tier one sub. Young Tilla, whoa, where are you at? Hello, welcome back for three months. And Brohemoth, thank you so much for the three months in a row. All right, it's been 15 minutes. Let us get to what we have all been waiting for. Oh, shh. So, I don't know if you guys live under a rock, but Key Cult, they are releasing a board tomorrow. Well, some people have already uh, received it. 10 units were already raffled off during KeyCon, at KeyCon. But yeah, uh, I believe there are going to be 55 units raffled off tomorrow on keycult.io. You guys should already be heading there if you guys haven't signed up for the newsletter. Um, but yeah, the number one revision one that is their latest keyboard and we are going to reveal it on my stream at least. I know some people have built it up and shared pictures already. But yeah. Exciting, exciting. And Key Cult is in chat, I think. I don't know if they left. It's pretty late for them, but... Uh, Lpop, thank you so much for the two months in a row. Oh, Key Cult is still here. Which, which member of Key Cult is using the account though? <laughs> All right, so let's take a look at the box. So we have the number one, revision one, and I did ask for the navy and silver combo, inspected by Zach. Oh, it's right. hello, right. The release is June 2019. So yeah, there are going to be, oh, a lot of laughs here too, hello. Uh, there are going to be 55 units raffled off and then 10 units that will be sold through a Vickery auction. Why did you open the box so roughly? I don't know, I just cut it. <laughs> but yeah, box uh, looks pretty standard, just like every other Key Cult box we have seen so far. Not that it's a bad thing, but same old box if you have purchased. I guess not many people would know I guess not many people would have handled a key cult box. There aren't that many out there, despite how many we have seen on stream. But yeah, uh, standard key cult box. I like it. Some static in the background. Oh yeah, there's a uh, my uh, the, the 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 grass watering system is on outside right now. I can't control it. It's run by the community. It's on on timer. Yeah. I should die out, sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, it's just, oh, sprinklers, there you go, sprinklers. It's been a long day. It's been a long day. What? Chortle my squirtle? Who, who is this person? What? You also have a nice name, squirtle my sh Chortle my squirtle. Uh, thank you so much for the 10 gift the subs, holy. And Marine Dugan, thank you so much for the two months in a row. Wow. Chortle my Squirtle. Dang, why didn't I think of that? The only... I only ever use the word Chortle when I say Chortle my Jovies. No, Chortle... Crap, what is it? Yeah, Chortle my Jovies. Kita Moto, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Alright, let us see. Ooh! Wait, we have a letter. Uh, and our big <laughs> Thank you so much for gifting a sub to Dixie Mac. Uh, I'm not sure if this is going to be personalized for every unit that is sold. Key Cult is in chat. I don't know. Is it, are you going to personalize it for everyone? Or am I just special? This is nice though. Doesn't contribute at all to the board, but oh, unfortunately, no, you are special. Oh, okay. 
I'm gonna open it. Kiko, is that your writing? Yes, yeah, so this is. Uh, so I believe whoever inspects it is the person who writes it. I actually talked to uh, Zach about this. They have pretty good handwriting. I, I, I appreciate good handwriting. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no check. Just stickers. Nothing personalized. I just have a generic key cult note. That's it. <laughs> well, it is. It is a nice touch that they hand wrote my my name. Not that special. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm. I'm glad they brought it back though. The number two didn't have this kind of uh, package, I suppose, and I complained. I, th I said it was a nice touch because the number 165 and the number 160 did come with stuff like this. Um, I mean, it, yeah, it, it doesn't affect the board at all, but I think when you are paying a premium, it, uh, it adds to that experience, and you are definitely paying for that experience, in my opinion. Oh, these stickers are nice. So we have the Kappa Pride Key Cult sticker. They also released this uh, during KeyCon. We have. Oh, my. It's really bright on this. Huh? We have a white and kind of grayish Key Cult sticker. Actually, I don't know if it's gray or transparent, but it's pretty cool. And then just the key cult key. White on clear. Okay, so it is clear. It's not gray. This is a white on clear. Yeah. Pretty nice stickers. Put this back in the letter. Yeah. And if you guys don't know, key cult, they do have their own... I don't want, is it a C, I don't think it's a CNC machine. They have some machine where they can custom cut their own foam. So this is all done in-house. Um, the cutouts for the PCB, the board, this letter now, all done in-house. Pretty cool to see. All right, so we have uh, Talisman Solution. Thank you so much for the one bit. And another 111 bits. Thank you so much. There's still a lot. Oh, well, the the sprinkler just off. It just turned off. Do you guys still hear white noise? If there's still a lot of white noise, let me know. Nope, no white noise. Fine now. Okay. No sprint. Yeah, it wasn't. I'm sorry. It's not me. <laughs> it's just a. The sprinkler and I can't control that um, okay so we have seen oh crap there whoops leaked here we go oh this is stuck here tight so here we have a Wilba uh, W80 is it WT80? W80? It might be WT80, but yes, this is the Wilba TKL WT80A. There you go. Uh, we have seen this multiple times on the number twos we have built, and it looks like um, they are continuing to use the same PCB for the number one revision one, which I think is completely fine. Great PCB. I've had zero issues so far with it, and it's from Boba, one of the most popular PCB makers on the market. Look at this, beautiful. Uh, Khaki Cat, thank you, Khaki Hat. Thank you so much for the 100 bits. I just received my first PCB from Zeal yesterday. Thank you for the inspo for building my first board. Oof, congrats. 
ZOPCV also designed by Wilba. Very nice. Uh, Jutsu Games, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Can you customize the layout? Uh, yes, it is fully programmable. Fully programmable. All right, so we're gonna set this aside. I do have to test this later. Are you guys ready for the board itself? How do you feel about the modular PCBs where you don't have to solder at all? Hot swap. I think they are good and great for people starting off. They still need a little bit of work, but yeah, I don't think they're bad at all. My username was originally gonna be Chortle my Squirtle, but wanted to play on words. Ah, uh, I see, I see. New number one uses daughter board. Yes, Invis, it does. And Voxel X. EXE, thank you so much for the 20 bits. Are you guys ready to see the number one revision one? Look at how this was cut. So normally if people see this on a keyboard, the machining marks, they would be uh, angry. <laughs> but it's, I think it's pretty cool to see on packaging foam. Nice geometry. You can see the path it took. Nice geometry. All right. Uh, Juno, thank you so much for the 10 bits. Hello, hello. All right, I hope you guys can pick it up through my camera that this is a dark navy. It's really hard to capture my... Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, professional Twitch viewer, thank you so much for the two months in a row. Weatherlight, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Ooh, look at this. You can see the way the cutout was made to accommodate for the number one. That's pretty cool too. I'm a math major, so I'm somewhat into geometry. I don't know, maybe it's just a me thing. Nope, no candy. Oh, that's true, asshat. There's no candy this time. Where's the candy key cult? Or maybe the candy is just for the high-end boards. The number one revision one is cheaper. Maybe it's a distinction for the higher, more expensive number two products. All right, look at this. Yeah, this is our budget board, only 550. <laughs> um, Kion Noodle, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Can you guys tell that it's a dark navy? So clearly you can tell it's silver. But look at this. Oh my, you guys, oh, the way this catches the light right here, holy moly. Okay, so here you can clearly tell it's a dark navy. Look at this. This deserves, a, this is a pre-nut. This deserves a pre-nut. Look at the way that catches the light. You guys can see the key cult logo is engraved here and then the usb port has moved to the bottom so i i'll bring out my i'll bring out the original i'll bring out the number one not the revision one i'll bring out bring that out at the end we can compare it at the end but yeah that is a difference if you guys aren't aware oh my gosh oh, okay so the number one, the number two, the number one had it engraved here, the name, but I don't see that engraving on this. It, it might be internal. It's not internal. Okay, so it looks like they moved everything to the badge. <sighs> Guys, this is, this is no joke of a board. 
This is a beautiful Love board. Uh, Cho M Cho Min Lol, thank you so much for the two months in a row. B Money Love Steam, thank you so much for the tier one sub. Okay, that's a nice navy there too. We did away with all the engravings uh, except for the little key. I see. I think, I think I like that choice key key cult or riot. I think the and the engraving was fairly large on the number one. So I, I think I do like the fact that it is gone. This is a beautiful board. And I like the I like the little cute key here. Oh, look at this. Is it USB C? It is USB C. Look. Look at how flush this port is. Look at that. That is flush. That's a flush port. Hella flush. Yeah, and when I bring out the number one, you guys will I think you guys will appreciate the, the changes that were made that made this the revision one. Uh there oh crap, my screws. Yeah, th I think I think there are fairly noticeable differences. <sighs> All right, so let's get to opening this board. Uh, Marine Dugan, I swear you subbed. Thank you so much for the two months. Imagine a keyboard that isn't USB C. There's there's quite a lot, Bistro. Quite a lot. <laughs> USB C is a it's a lagging in the keyboard community. Where can I learn soldering? I'm learning to build my own board in the future. Um, you could you could Google how to solder. Um, yeah, you can find tons of information. Soldering is not specific to just the keyboard community. There, there's tons of resources out there. Uh, Sirius, thank you so much for... <laughs> thank you so much for the two months in a row, Sirius. No, the revision one, sorry, the, the key cult number one was not USB-C, it was USB, well, it's a, it was a bring your own PCB kind of deal, so it, it, you could technically make it USB-C, yes, but. Uh, Talisman Solutions, thank you so much for gifting a sub to Sophia Wolf. Oh! Wait, what? Is that actually random? Oh, it is random. Frank. Oh, random Frank P. Hello. I think this is the first time I've seen Random Frank P in my channel. Hello, hello. Wow, Random Frank P noticed me. Uh, Ham Hands, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Everyone, behave. Please behave. Random Frank P is in the house. No, uh, no Pepega moments today, please. You're blushing? I mean, I, I'm a fan of Random Frank P. <laughs> Am I getting red? It's just a sunburn. I got sunburnt. That's what it is. Uh, two compliment. Two's compliment. Ah, clever name there. Thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. It's time to show that Matt. <laughs> This last one was not coming. There we go. All right. 
Oh, whoa, two's compliment is a Twitch mod. Whoa. It's the fitting name, or Twitch staff, sorry, Twitch staff. Hello, welcome. Solid Cactus, thank you so much for the tier one sub. All right, so I took off all the screws. You don't want to take it off that way because the plate might drop. Oh, that's tight. Oh, no, nope, it's stuck to the top. Okay, let's take a look at this first. Uh, Sour Justine, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Oh, look at this. I'm gonna switch back to this view. So here we can see the daughter board cable. And then something new with the revision one. They now have internal badges. Um, all of the keyboards are serialized. I did get number 69. <laughs> How could you not get number 69? Yes, if any of you guys were trying to claim 69, you can't because I claim number 69. So yeah, this is pretty clean, um, pretty nice. It feels, I mean, you can feel the etchings, but you're not, you, when are you gonna touch the badge? <laughs> but yeah, pretty nice, pretty clean, in my opinion, pretty clean as well. Yeah, etched by us as well. That is true, yes, so Key Cult also does the etching in-house. They cut their foam in-house, and they also did this etching in-house. Yeah, pretty clean, pretty clean. Yep. 69 isn't my favorite number. I was trying to, I was gonna claim number three if I could, but I was not given the option to claim number three, so. What? Top Clack, thank you so much for the host. Hope your stream went well. Nice hair. I need a haircut. My hair is too long. <laughs> uh, Phospho Fido, thank you so much for the five months in a row. Born to relax, thank you so much for the two months. Alright, and I believe... Oh, whoa, okay. So these poron bump-ons for the gasket... Are they thicker, Key Cult? I swear this looks thicker than it did on the number two. That looks pretty thick. Or is it the same thickness? Ooh. This is pretty thick. Same as number two. Okay, so it is the same. Interesting. It just it just looks very thick. Maybe it's the silver, I don't know. But it looks pretty thick. But yes, this does have more on gaskets on top and bottom. Uh, 159, thank you so much for the three months in a row. Top clack, thank you so much for the three months in a row as well. Kita Moto, thank you so much for the 1,000 bits. Did I miss anyone else? Did I miss anyone else? Uh, Sushimi, thank you so much for the three months in a row. Pang, Pango Win, thank you so much for the two months. And Ramses, thank you so much for the five months. It looks thicker because the channel they're sitting in doesn't go around the front as well. I see. Okay. So yeah, uh, I believe by default it does come with an aluminum plate. Looks pretty straight to me. And... Oh, it's not fixed this time. Dang it. I'm gonna have to straighten some mods. It's not fixed. But yeah, so how the board mounts is this plate rests on those rubber gaskets and then there are also gaskets on this top piece here and it, uh, it seals the plate and case together. Oh man, lots of, lots of renews today. Uh, Mac Mutant. Thank you so much for the two months in a row. E-Man, thank you so much for the 300 bits. Thanks for making me aware of an awesome hobby. If, I, if you came in through the hobby, through me, I'm very glad you did. <laughs> I, I'm hoping the keyboard community gets more exposure. It'd be, it'd be cool too. 
I don't know how many views the Verge's video got today, but I'm, I'm sure that's going to bring tons of people into... Um, yeah, that was a pretty good video for exposure. Uh, what else? Talisman, thank you so much for another 111 bits. And Dixel, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Uh, yeah, um, but I mean, it's understandable. Because it is win key, you can either go standard ANSI or Sangin. I don't know about this though. Actually, no. I believe the number two plate was also split here. Backspace as well. All right. If you guys are just coming in, this is what the Navy looks like. I think the Navy looks probably better from this view. Look at that Navy. Depending on the lighting, it can look black, but it's a nice dark navy. Very nice. Alright. Uh, do you split backspace and split right shift? Do you, do you want to lose your mod status on day one, Starston? Is that how you want to roll? Alright, so let us test this PCB first. Because that is what you should always do before. Oh, this key. Oh! Look. This cable, it grows. Yeah, so when you guys do build it, assuming you guys win the raffle tomorrow, um, you can't pull it out. Just be gentle. Don't pull out too hard, obviously. But yeah, it does. It grows. And then you can, after it finishes growing, you can insert it. Although it's still not. It's still a little too short to ins. Should I have watched the teardown video for this? Is there a more ergonomic way that I'm missing? Okay, I think this is the way to go. There we go. You curl it around. Hush. PCB in left hand port at bottom. No, I, I got this. We got it, we got it. We got it. It's not as bad as I thought. I was just I was just panicking because random Frank P's watching. Alright, so we're going to use, this is USB-C. <clears throat> so I brought out my USB-C cable. A uh, lightning, hello. That is that is dope, hello. Does anyone know if the DX, DX50, I don't know. I don't think I'm familiar with a DX50 PCB. It is plugged in, and thank God it uh, supports. Oh, wait, Miago, now that you mention it. So if you guys don't know or follow me on Twitter, I did get the uh, stream deck recently. It's just, it's essentially a glorified macro pad and guess what I programmed into one of my commands oh I'm gonna spin my cash on a new keyboard I'm gonna tap till I can't 
can't no more. I'm gonna spend my cash on a new keyboard. I'm gonna type till I can't no more. You know I got West German blacks, play made out of brass. He kept said her black Sarah coat the case to match. Typing on a 40, got that limo cordy. My board is so fire, if you touch it, you'll get scores. I bought a new board, I'm stunting. New board, I'm stunting. Got the new board, I'm stunting. New board, I'm stunting. First, I bought a ram, waiting on the bower. Tried to buy a key gold, other folks were faster. JV2 from Uxie, PCB from Heine. Sell it for 2000 then they want to kill me. Bought a new board, I'm stunting. New board, I'm stunting. Bought a new board, I'm stunting. New board, I'm stunting. Thought star spend a lot of money on that used TGR. Messed around and made a set inspired by a sports bra. Now I can't be red because I went and bought that cap block. So much flex poly carbonate. Got you a 5 G O on my fitted lags. Which I could get more cash for that new keyboard. I wanna tap till I can't no more. I'm gonna spend my cash on a new keyboard. I'm gonna Top till I can't no more. I'm gonna spend my cash on a new keyboard. I'm gonna type till I can't no more. All right, the PCB works fine as expected from Mr. Wilba. Scariest part for me is over. I mean, I, I do have extra PCBs though, keep Riot, so. If it did happen that today's stream is where Wilbo's PCB fails me, did have extras, thank God. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, yeah, you should always buy extras if possible. Uh, what I missed, Michael, thank you so much for the five months in a row. Remski, thank you so much for the nine months. Um, I always can't say this name. Oran Lokim, thank you so much for the three months. What Army, thank you so much for the two months. Not E F G C, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Evan, thank you so much for the four months. Evan McFerrin, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, did I buy an extra plate? I did get a I did buy a brass plate. I Don't know if I'm gonna build it with but oh Aframu, hello Thank you so much for the two months in a row dang we have afro and random Frank P in the house today welcome welcome um, Oh man if afro is here, I gotta show off the board again, right? <laughs> um, so this is the board we're, we're building today afro this is called the Key Cult. Number one, revision one. Oh, wait, the music stopped. Uh, I gotta bring back the music. Yeah, this is the keyboard we are building today. It's a navy and silver themed board. Um, obviously, it's not screwed in currently. Yeah, I, it's not screwed in. That's why it looks like this. But this is what the board looks like. Uh, pretty nice, all aluminum keyboard. We just tested the PCB and confirmed it does work. So we can move on to the next step of the build. Um, because today is a uh, a late stream and Riot 
I'm sure it wants to head out to sleep. I did prepare the 2U stabs in advance. I'm going to do the 7U on stream. But yeah, hopefully this should help the build go a little bit faster. Do you still have this, the space bar stab to do? I haven't tested though if, or if these are good or not. So we might need to retune them, but at least they've already been pre-clipped and lubed. Since I know Riot wants to go to sleep, as do the rest of you guys. I'm a boring streamer. No way I had coffee two hours ago. I've been doxxed here tonight. What do you mean, Dixie? It's on your website. You ha you link your SoundCloud on your website. Yeah, norm normally I do do the stabilizers on stream, but uh, because today is a board reveal, try to make it go a little bit quicker. Is this a personal build? Yes, this is a personal build. How many PCBs and plates did you get? So I got, uh, it comes stock with the, the aluminum plate. Oh, the sprinkler. Why did the sprinkler turn back on? It was just on. Yeah, the sprinkler's on, sorry guys. Any ideas what keyboard you'll use for upcoming secret video? Ooh. Dang, did Random Frank P release our collab already? Uh, I don't know yet, Random Frank P. <laughs> I don't know if I want to go like super enthusiast and have your viewers. Yeah, I feel like if I go too deep, your viewers wouldn't really appreciate or care. I don't know. I don't, I don't know how hard I want to flex. This is a question. <laughs> what are, what's your thought? I don't know. I mean, I, I do have a couple. I do have a selection, but. Yeah, not sure yet. Just go deep enough and no more. Forty percent ortho. Now that is a layout I do not have. <laughs> That's a layout I do not have. Show them what you're made of. Hello, mail. They'll have to get over it. I have plans to sway them all over from the gaming keyboards. Ooh, random Frank P has a plan. And I might help him, guys. Uh, yeah, there, there's like a strong contender that I have in mind. But I, I'll probably save that until your video drops. Don't want to reveal too much. Yeah, don't want to reveal too much. What? Can we can we get a paw? What? A uh, men's and nurse, thank you so much for a hundred dollars. What? Go super enthusiast? Oh shoot, I well I guess I gotta go super enthusiast now. <laughs> uh SN foil, thank you so much for the 50 bits. Sorry I missed it. I'm thinking about getting some Sakurios. Do you think that would be a good choice? Yes, uh, I would recommend Sakurios. I'd also be lubing them with 205 grade zero. Also, yes, you should definitely rec lube your Sakurios. Uh, any other switch recommendations, parts that would make it quieter. Uh, I think if you go Sakurios and lube it, it's probably all you need really. 
Um, probably fill up your case with some foam or anything else that you have on hand. Yeah. Kujo AI, thank you so much for the three months in a row. Man, men's a nurse, you crazy. Thank you so much. When does Zeal ship? He should ship fairly soon if you haven't received it in two weeks. Uh, maybe hit him up? I don't know if he's traveling or not. I don't think he is traveling. Alright, so we are gonna go lightning! Thank you so much for the four months in a row. Seven years. Oh, just kidding. I found it. It was on the floor. <laughs> yeah. Professional streamer. I swear I've kept all this before. Soon. Seven years stab. Uh, I'll grab that after. What's used to make MX Xylence? A. Any zeal switch housing? and your choice of cherry mx silence switch and then you put the stem of a cherry mx silent in a zeal switch housing that's how you make an mx silent brez thank you so much for the tier one sub so we're going to start by clipping the stabilizers <clears throat> were your blacks were the blacks you're building with scratchy before lubing? Um, so I have used these blacks for a while. So they're still not the smoothest blacks, but it, it has been worn in. Yeah. What is a switch housing? Um, how do I explain this without graphics? It's the, the outer shell of a switch, not the stem. You press on the stem, so the outer housing that encases that stem is the, is the switch housing. All right, we clip the stabilizers, let us lube. And I prefer to use 205 grade zero for my stabilizers. Uh, Travwall, thank you so much for the five months in a row. Ooh, there's a little bit too much on here. <sighs> Have you ever made a build with Kale Box Whites? Uh, I don't think I have. I have played around with them extensively though, at meetups. But yeah, I don't have a personal build with box weights. Nor do I think anyone has requested a build with box weights. DGO Nino, thank you so much for the two months in a row. When are you building Pengu's board? Soon TM, it's coming. In the works as well. I've, I've been working relentlessly behind the scenes after work. My white hair count constantly increasing. But yes, it is coming. Yeah. So I'm surprised the Verge didn't lube their stabilizer because Snazzy Labs made a video building a keyboard 
And then everyone in the comments said, oh, you should have lubed your stabilizer. So I, I thought the Verge would have. And then maybe used my guide. <laughs> but uh, they didn't. Yeah. Lubing your stabilizers. Even if you don't lube your switches, I feel like lubing your stabilizer is one of the biggest things you can do to your build. Yes, the sprinkler is just turned off. Yes, I, Snazzy Labs did end up rebuilding their keyboard with lube stabilizers and they uploaded a video of it as well. And I'm pretty sure the viewers could tell there was a huge difference. It's, it's also kind of crazy though, how many people know about lubing stabilizers. Like if you go through the comments for those videos, there, there are a lot of people suggesting that you guys should lube stabilizers. Which is kind of cool to see. Like if, I feel like if you know about lubing stabilizers or tuning stabilizers, that means you're, you at least have basic knowledge of keyboards, I feel like. So yeah, it's, it's encouraging to see a lot of people knowing about it. T typing test sounded horrible. <laughs> yeah, the spacebar on that spacebar on that video was yikes. But I mean, the video was filmed pretty well. I could only dream of filming my videos like that. <laughs> um, I think I think it was a pretty good video. Just lubed my space bars, space bar. Hopefully, I won't need to retune any of these tonight. And it only fits in one place. How are Halo trues with Crytox GPL 205 grade zero? I would say go really thin with Crytox 205 grade zero. Uh, Halo trues aren't a bad tactile, in my opinion. I think they're actually pretty good tactiles by themselves it's just they're overshadowed by more popular tactiles uh, sin pastoral thank you so much for the twitch prime sub tristan hello yes and let me talk about the raffle a little bit while i build this so if you guys uh, were confused or didn't read up on the key cult raffle that is happening tomorrow it is happening tomorrow and there's going to be two raffles and that doesn't mean you can enter twice only enter once guys if you enter twice you will be disqualified please only enter once um, the reason why they split it up into two different raffles is one um, to accommodate for time zones so there's going to be one at 10 a.m. in the morning and 10 p.m. at night. So yeah, it's to account for different time zones. And each raffle, once it goes live, you will have a window of three minutes to enter the raffle. Um, and the, re the second reason why they split it up into two raffles is to um, two raffles of three minutes. Three minutes, not that big of a time window, in my opinion, um, is to discourage uh, multiple account entries. So that's why they did it but don't enter twice guys. If you enter one of the raffles, you don't need to enter the other one. So only enter one, just choose, aim for the time zone, not the time zone, aim for the time slot that works for you and just enter once, that's all you need to do. Don't enter twice because you will be disqualified. I'll be changing diapers at both times. Sun in the AM, patient in the PM. Oh no, Jackstastic. I hope you get a chance though if you are considering it. Uh, did you use alias housings for your MX's islands? 
as you have their 70 gram. Uh, I used zeal housings, but I used the 70 gram spring. All right, so we are using retold. These are plate mount, so I know plate mounts, plate mount blacks are known to be scratchier. These are not that bad. They're still not the best. They're not the best retold blacks. Uh, I have felt nicer ones. I do have nicer ones, but I've, these are already really worn and, and used. So that's why I decided to go with them. I think they're good enough for a build and they'll definitely only get better with use. And these are also stickered. So that's how you know this is an old switch. They aren't using switch films, they were stickered. <laughs> so that maybe that gives you guys an indication of how long these switches have been used for. Uh, no one should really be stickering their switches anymore. Switch films are superior, but switch films did not always used to exist, guys. If you guys don't know what switch stickers are, you guys have it good. Find a good match for the grit 600. Oh shoot! What is happening, guys? Is it just me or is it dog? I I thought I heard like a dog whining. <laughs> Live in the city of San Fran or like around. Uh, I live around Oakland, is where I live. I, I live in the East Bay. Alright. Doxed? No, I don't, I don't. It's public knowledge that I live around East Bay. Good to go with the build. No rattle and no sluggishness either. The stabilizers feel pretty good. Does it need more lube? Uh, nope, this does not need more lube. Maybe the right shift might slightly, but I think it's fine. What are your thoughts on the novel key 65% keyboard that comes with GMK? Hey Tayo, I love the informative undercoming strings. Thanks, Bud. Sieb, thank you so much for the 500 bits. Uh, they do not come. You're talking about the NK65, which just was released today. That does not come with GMK Olive keycaps. Uh, you have an option to purchase it with GMK, not not GMK. <laughs> You have the option to purchase it with Nolive switches. That is not GMK Olive. GMK Olive is a keycap set. Nolives are switches. Uh, yes, so don't do do keep that in mind. The the Olive switches are basically recolored 
Marvel Keys cream switches, which also have a new 63.5 gram spring. Um, yes, so don't don't buy the Novel Key 65 expecting to get GMK Olive with it because you will be very disappointed. Uh, GMK Olive costs more than the NK65, I think. The NK65 retail is like 140, right? Oh man, the pin is bent on this. My nails are cut. Yeah, 140 without switches. I think that's cheaper than what a GMK keycap set goes for. Okay, so because this is plate mount, the PCB is very loose right now. There's nothing securing the plate to the PCB. So we will most likely solder in some uh, anchor switches first. Uh, C, thank you so much for the 500 bits. I love the informative and calming streams. Thanks, bud. Glad you enjoy the streams. C, thank you, thank you. Yeah. All right, let's let's get a let's get a a roll call going. If you guys are planning on joining the raffle for the key cult tomorrow, type type uh raffle in chat if you plan on joining the key cult raffle tomorrow key cult's gonna join their own raffle <laughs> what? easy clap thank you so much for the twitch prime sub did i get the koyu i did not get the koyu ah, okay looks like we got quite a bit of people interested in joining the uh the key cult raffle nice should i join Two's compliments saying rigged. What? It hasn't even started yet. Well, to all of you guys who just said raffle, you guys know who you guys are competing against. Good luck, have fun. Uh, if you guys are joining, which colorway are you guys going for? Are you guys going for the navy and silver or the black? Black and gold. Black and gold. Navy and silver. Navy and silver. Black and gold. Oh, looks like black and gold is actually more popular, I think. AP Calculus BC. <laughs> Thank you so much for the Twitch Prime set. Just came back to stream. Duck giveaway is happening. No, no, there's no giveaway happening. There is no raffle going on, guys. Oh, there is a raffle going on tomorrow, but yes. It's tomorrow, not on my stream over at KeyCult.io. Yo, I took AP Calculus BC Infinite Series. <laughs> Any giveaways today? No. But I will be holding a Twitter giveaway soon, TM. So if you guys aren't on Twitter, you guys need to get on Twitter and follow me because I'm gonna have a Twitter giveaway. Oh wait, man, I'm gonna I'm headed off for tonight. I'll have to check the VOD when you upload to see the end result. Have a good one, Random Freak P. Thank you for stopping by today. Thank you so much. Uh, means a lot. Thank you so much. I'm sure everyone in my chat watches your videos. <laughs> Um, but yeah, have a good one, random Frank P. Uh, what math did you major in, Teha? I majored in applied math with a focus in CS. Uh, special premium snap for tier three subs. I don't even have Snapchat installed. I'm gonna ha go off. Have a good night, Carlbit. Thanks for stopping by too. 
Uh, is there any reason you swap to the Alias Spring? Would the Zeal 67 Springs be a good fit? Yeah, Zeal 67 Springs are fine as well. Um, I just... I just happened to have Zeal housings at the time. And there was a phase where there was a big uh, spring drought. Where no one could really get springs. And Alias switches were cheap. And I thought, why not try out a 70 gram spring? So that's why I went with Alias Springs. Jitsu Games, how do you like living in the Bay Area? I love it and also hate it. Uh, the weather in the Bay Area is amazing. If you don't like the sun or heat. But the cost of living is very high here. I think food in SoCal is better. I also prefer hanging out with... I feel like I like the vibe of SoCal people a bit more than NorCal folks. But yeah, the weather here is amazing. I, I grew up in SoCal, so I, 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 I hate the heat. <laughs> I just hate heat and humidity. How long will a 3 milliliter vial of 205 grade zero last? 3 milliliters. Uh, the general, general ratio for lube usage uh, is roughly, you should be able to lube around 80 to 100 switches per 1 milliliter. <laughs> List of options, thank you so much for the four months in a row. Uh, we are going normal caps lock because normal caps lock is the way. Um, but yeah, so I, I, I guess if you're using three, three milliliter you have three milliliters of lube that should last you somewhere around 240 to 300 switches oh no this pin got bent as well <laughs> not like this <laughs> please send board back actually yeah let's do stepped this is win key so i don't have to remap the win key all right, all right, I'll go, I'll go step caps. I only really like going step caps lock when I'm using an OG dice upset and I'm forced to. All right. Uh, clappable, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. I love step caps. Well, see, I use this as control. Oh, shoot. So I don't like having it stepped because I actually use it. Caps equals control is the only way. I agree. How is everyone's Friday? So I, I will be streaming all weekend this weekend. I'm back on schedule. I have some exciting boards tomorrow and Sunday as well. But today's board, for sure, is the most exciting. Pretty chill, dude. That's nice to hear. You swap control and caps lock. Uh, it's not technically a swap, since I just get rid of caps lock entirely. <laughs> But yes, I put caps lock. I put control where caps lock is, and then I usually program caps lock. I usually don't have it on my primary layer. I program it into a secondary layer because I almost never use caps lock. Just have brain surgery. Oh no, what? Jenky, I hope you're okay. Well, I'm glad you're in a condition to be watching a stream. 
Hope your brain is okay. That sounds scary. What do you rebind left control with? Well, so win key, I usually just leave it as caps lock. Win key, I don't know. I haven't had a win key board in quite a long time, actually. <laughs> all the T, all my personal TKOs have all been win keyless for like the past year. Uh, win key TKO is pretty new to me, I would say. It's been quite a while, so I don't know what the optimal layout is for me anymore. Ouch, that hurt. Papa Day 20. Oh, I know who you are. Welcome back for Day 20. Man, a lot of these pins are being bent. We're expanding your horizons? Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm not against Winkey. I, when I started the hobby, I used to think Winkey list was stupid. And changes, your, your tastes change. <laughs> Now I am all about the win keyless life, but yeah, I, I'm not grossed out by win key at all. I I do like win key. See, when what most people when they start off think win keyless is stupid, and that linears are stupid, and then you go in the hobby, you you stay in it for a couple months. Uh, maybe years for some people and then you you change to liking linears and only wanting win keyless I would say that applies to a giant proportion of folks in the hobby Two things I liked immediately into the hobby why linear is bad Thrax House Leo, hello, what's good? Golf Juliet Bravo. Thank you so much for the tier one sub. I think you don't like linears until you try excellent lubed linears. That's that's very true. Um, I will, I'm I'm speaking from personal experience. I hated linears until I went to a meetup and tried some really good lubed linears, and then I was like, oh, okay, I'm gonna try. I need to get that on a personal build. So that's how I got sucked into linears. Why do you prefer no win key? So that that's the biggest uh, misconception people have about win keyless keyboards is that if you go win keyless, you no longer have a Windows key. That is not true. All of the all of these keyboards are fully programmable. So it's it's not that we don't use the Windows key. It's just that we uh, program it somewhere else. And a lot of people like win keyless for the aesthetics. Yeah, I mean, aesthetics is a big part of the hobby. Like, I feel like Switch... I feel like Switch feel has kind of stagnated. I, ha I have stated this before, but um, to me at least, I feel like Switches have almost stagnated in terms of what's being changed and released switches are they don't change that drastically in my opinion so i feel like that's why people are starting to talk a lot more about aesthetics and acoustics
Hmm, okay. Sangin bottom row. I have no idea where to place the keys for that. Test time, get the bottom row right. She alright, I got this. So I know for wind keyless builds, this goes on the inside. Which means this should go on the outside. Alright, is this a first try? Uh, Possum Kitty, thank you so much for the two months in a row. And then I need to get my one foot fives. Alright, did I get. S no! Wait, are they all inside? Oh, it is all inside. Okay, so this should also be all inside. <laughs> is this your first build? Hey, I, I haven't built Sangin layout on a, on a TKO in over a year. Oh no, just kidding. I think I did I think I did build Sangin on my KBD proto. <laughs> okay. I'm just testing you guys on your knowledge. I knew this. Do you plan on going to anime expo? No, I did not, unfortunately. All right, so that is the bottom row we're going with. Let me remove all these. All right, so let us get to soldering. I'm tempted to try a carbon fiber or aluminum plate. I would highly recommend both. Aluminum is probably the standard of the community for good reason. Yeah, I encourage you to try it. I'm uh, going to head to bed now to make sure I wake up early enough to enter the key cult raffle. Good night, everyone, and good luck. Have a good night, Tommy Crayons. Have you ever thought about doing this full time or would that not be a sustainable option? Uh, I would like to do it full time. But yeah, it's not, currently it's not in a state where I can, it's not sustainable for me currently. Um, unless I move out to like the middle of nowhere and stream from there. Um, but yeah. I, I still have student loans to pay off. Cost of living is high and expensive. Keyboards are expensive. Keyboards are not cheap. Moved by Jake Paul in LA. Does Jake Paul live in LA? Don't really keep up with that guy. All right. It's time to solder. Uh, Osiris TV, thank you so much for the two months in a row. Thought you guys were best friends. Alright, let me solder some anchor switches first. And then we will get to sponsor time.
What keycaps are people planning on putting on their key codes, assuming they win tomorrow? I've been thinking about it all day long. What to put, what keycaps to put on these key codes? I'm not sure I have an answer yet, to be honest. CRP if that ever ships. I don't have CRP because they haven't shipped. Feels bad. GMK Calm Dips. I'm not a fan of Calm Dips. I don't understand the hype around that colorway. I'm not a fan. I mean, it's not bad. But I don't really feel the desire to own SA or GMK Calm Dips. What do the leftovers from Holy Pandas make? Trash. There's not much you can do with the leftovers from Holy Pandas, unfortunately. You just uh, throw that away. If you don't put GMK Hander Bait on your board, I'm not going to send your switches back. What do you mean? I don't. GMK Hand. That's, it hasn't even shipped yet. Do you know if anyone got the zeal switches shipped from Master? I'm not sure. Whoa, Mr. Horologist, thank you so much for the host. I hope your stream went well. Man, our, my stream time hasn't lined up with you as of late. I haven't been able to return the favor. But uh, yeah, I hope you're streaming it well, Mr. Horologist. Can you get a shout out for Mr. Horologist too? Hand or bite, sorry. Unfortunately, rated me at the worst time of the stream, probably the most unexciting time when I saw their switches. Hopefully you guys stick around to see the finished result. Are you going to TwitchCon, Mr. Horologist? Oh yeah, by the way guys, I am going to TwitchCon. I posted it on my Twitter, but... Anyone going to TwitchCon? Eh, I don't know yet. Whose compliment is going to TwitchCon? Ooh. Yeah, I'm, I'm hoping to meet a lot of Twitch staff people. This, this is my first year. I haven't even streamed for a year yet. But yeah, it, would, it would be nice to get in touch with Twitch staff. 
Yo, Juju Cables, hello. It's my Habibi. Hello, hello. We have a couple Aussies in the chat. Uh, Neon Marshmallow, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime scene. Hype for Oblivion, my first GMK set. It's great to hear, Oblivion is a great set. Oblivion also a must buy. Pr pretty much any keycap set themed around an IDE, I think is a must buy. <laughs> Whether you like it or not, it's a, it's going to be a timeless colorway. Um, probably won't have trouble reselling it if you ever decide you want to get rid of it. Penumbra though, well no one predicted Penumbra was going to turn out like that. <laughs> you can't predict how the color matching phase is going to go. And another switch. Bent pens. Soldered all the anchor rows. We can get to some sponsor time. We have a couple sponsors. Uh, told you in a secret in Discord PMs. Wait, Dixie, you told me this already. <laughs> you told me this at KeyCon. <laughs> GG, Dixie doesn't remember hanging out with me. <laughs> you told me that. <laughs> yeah, but I, I am excited for that. Yeah, that's... Wait, I want to know the secret now, T. Uh, no, it's up to Dixie. I don't know if I can reveal it. Uh, but yeah, we have a couple sponsors that make this possible. The first sponsor that we have... Improvade! Hello! Thank you so much for the five months in a row. Um, yeah, the first sponsor we have is Dixie Mech, who apparently does not remember hanging out with me. But yeah, uh, I believe the second round, they are going for a second round of GMK Mizu. Uh, there was an announcement today, an update. If you guys want to be up, kept up to date with the latest Dixie Mech news, do sign up for the newsletter. And you can now buy this floral desk mat as well as some other nice desk mats on Dixie Mech. I do have an affiliate link and I have all my affiliate links uh, linked in my panel or you can always do the exclamation sponsors command to see what they are but yeah head on over to dixiemech.com slash types uh, mowo thank you so much for the five months in a row the next sponsor we have is kbd fans kbd fans 
is the go to a second round of samples no round one hasn't even finished there would be no second round here right, kbd fans currently the go to place for starting off on your journey they were featured today on the verges video KBD fans has some great things you can get for a pretty decent price that won't break your bank as hard as some of the other expensive things in the hobby. Next up, Kiko. Oh, I just missed the logo. Uh, if you guys haven't recognized, Kiko's logo changed today. Who recognized that? Who recognized that? Yeah, Keycult is the sponsor of this video and stream. We are currently building their latest board they are going to be releasing tomorrow. Head on over to keycult.io, sign up for their newsletters. Uh, they recently revamped their websites. Everyone's going through a revamping as of late. Uh, Moo, thank you so much for the five months in the middle. Everyone's rebranding. Um, but yeah, Keycult makes some um, fantastic high-end custom keyboard kits. Would recommend. Olivia, hello! And they also do stream from time to time. Uh, they have a podcast. So if you guys are curious, to what they look like you can catch them on the podcast i guess it's a video cast since there is video it's not the podcast has no video but yeah uh, once again the raffle for this is going to be open tomorrow only enter once you only need to enter once if you enter twice you will be disqualified for each window you will have three minutes to enter. So prepare to type fast. If you guys are slow at typing, do some 10 fast finger runs tonight or type racers or whatever you guys use because uh, you'll want to fill out those forms quick. And the next sponsor we have is Kono. Head on over to Kono.store to pick up a wide variety of products ranging from cheap and budget to pretty enthusiast. I have not heard anything about the Keystone keyboard or the silo switches yet, but as soon as I do, I will be sure to report back to you guys about it. Yeah, head on over to Kono.store. Next we have Novel Keys. Novel Keys also had a big newsletter today. Their NK65, the Nathan Kim 65. I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's not the Nathan Kim 65, it's the Novel Key 65. Uh, it is live, you can pre-order it for st a starting price of $140. So it is aimed to be an entry level slash budget friendly option. Uh, what else? What else? GMK Olive, still alive. Not much, not many days left to join. Uh, GMK Olive, also a must buy for me. I joined in on GMK Olive. They have some cool pins now. They have some cool pins and stickers. They also stock my stickers if you want to help support the channel. Uh, inks were in stock, but they sold out pretty quickly. And you could also pre-order Nolive switches. Which, like we stated before, they are just recolored cream switches with a 63.5 gram bottom-out spring. And last but not least, we have Zeal PC. Dot net slash tf. Oh, I forgot. I do have a promo code with novel keys. It's NK space types. Using it will get you 5% off 
any in stock item. And I'm sorry, we are not at the last but not least yet. Our next sponsor is SwitchMod. Um, I have an affiliate link with SwitchMod now, so you don't have to manually, it's the same as manually inputting your promo code. So it just does that for you. You no longer have to type in the code. You can just go to switchmod.net slash types. It will automatically apply the 4% discount at checkout. So yeah, switchmod.net is where I get all of my lubes from. I believe Krullbit stated the lube drought is over. There's tons of lubes to be going around for everyone. So yeah, go purchase. 205 grade 0, 3204, 3203, all great lubes. Today's switches were lubed using Trebosis 3204. <laughs> oh, Improvate, thank you so much for the 100 bits. Sorry, I missed it. And Chortle My Squirtle, thank you so much for the 500 bits. Where did I get that sweater? I don't know if Coco Nuna is watching, but this is... Hey, this is from ZHZH. ZHZH. Uh, I don't know if you guys watch Coco. Rila Coco, but she is a... Uh, ex... No, I think she still does music. She is a... I, I guess K-pop artist? Um, she's kind of like a beauty slash fashion influencer figure. Also streams on Twitch. I, we have raided her once or twice, I think. But yeah, this is her merch. And I bought it. Uh, Shen Shen, thank you so much for the two months. Natty, thank you, thank you so much for the three months in a row. And JDW, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. JTAR, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime so Where was I? Uh, I f yes, but last but not least, we have zopc.net slash types, where you can get some of the smoothest linears, most tactile switches, some silent switches. Zeal has them all except for clicky switches. Head on over to zealpc.net slash types to get some nice boutique switches. If you spend, if you are in the United States and you spend over a hundred fifty dollars, you will get free shipping and it is two hundred world for the rest of the world. It's not that hard to spend $150 on Zeal's website. Uh, Ecole, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime, so catching me, finally catching you live. Hello, any thoughts on Gateron Ink Silence versus Helios? Uh, so I haven't tried Gateron Ink Silence yet. I did order them from Novel Keys. Uh, during the restock that occurred yes i think it was yesterday um, so i'll finally be able to try some silent inks and give my thoughts on it i i do really like inks though hopefully silent inks are just as good uh, i personally like silent linears week I've just been watching your YouTube videos and I finally get to watch you live. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, I haven't streamed in two weeks. So coming back again. Glad to be back. I missed you guys.
are silent switches noticeably more squishy? I'm not sure what you mean by squishy, but yes, I would say the you can definitely feel the rubberized pads that they install for silent switches. It's definitely noticeable. Uh, some people don't like them. I personally do like that feeling. So it's up to you to try it out and decide for yourself. I'm trying to decide between a 40 or a 60 for my first build. Any advice? Oh. <laughs> I mean, when it comes to layouts, it's not really something for me to decide. <laughs> it's up to you. Depends on your use case and what arrow, what uh, what keys you need. I personally need my arrow keys. I need dedicated arrow keys. So I will personally prefer larger layouts. But some people are perfectly okay with not having dedicated arrow keys. Yeah, there's there's no right or wrong. Let me see why MX Browns are in your best tactile list. I think MX Browns are a good tactile if you can get smooth ones. Uh, thoughts on the Verge video? I think it was a pretty good video. Uh, pretty, I'd say great video definitely wasn't a huge flop like their PC building one um, I mean they definitely could have done more research but I don't think they did anything wrong per se um, it's glad that they I'm glad that they used actual community vendors for their parts they used KBD fans as a, a 75 they used Zelios so that's going to be some great exposure for those vendors too. Um, yeah, I mean they definitely did their research on switch parts. They should have done a little bit more research, but yeah, I, I think I think it's a great video. I think it's a huge win for uh, our community. Yeah. I just feel like it was a missed opportunity. Um, the video Snazzy Labs made was also really good. But Snazzy Labs also did not lube his switches or stabilizers. So if The Verge had caught on that and then come out with a lubed build, that would have that would have been a killer video. Alright, everything is everything soldered. Yes. Let us now test for straightness. Left shift is straight. Well, we need to straighten our caps lock. Favorite colorway from Poison Summer. Ooh. It's kind of hard. I don't, I don't remember the colorway name. I probably liked the, the black and red one that ran recently the most. Yesterday's colorway was pretty nice too. The fifth, the fifth element trivia one, that one was pretty nice. I like that like smoky look. I don't even know what today's looked like because I wasn't aware there was a <laughs> uh there Mosan, thank you so much for the 500 bits thank you appreciate it T 
today was black and silver. Oh man, black and silver, that's a nice combo. Yeah, I mean, Nightcaps' stuff as of late have been fantastic in my opinion. Makes me be sad I haven't won any of them yet. I've been in a nightcap strout. Feels bad. Alright. Caps lock. Pretty straight. Bottom. Bottom row, left side, pretty straight at least. The right side is where the issue occurs most of the time. Backspace pretty straight. Right control, not straight. Oh, now that is, I made it worse, GG. YouTube and you got me into custom keyboards. One of the saving for a while now, so I don't think you broke. Shadow Killer BKC, thank you so much. BCK, thank you so much for the 200 bits. Found you from YouTube. Oh, glad you found me. Welcome, welcome. Welcome to the hobby. And yes, you definitely need to save up. It's not a cheap hobby. Shift could be straightened a little bit more. Any desire to obtain some OG customs like OTD or DK? Uh, yeah, I would like to own OTDs or DKs, but not at their price points. <laughs> Um, yeah, I mean, I, I think they feel great. They still um, are timeless. They have withstood the test of time. They are still really great feeling and sounding boards in my opinion. They're, they're nice, but they're not multiple thousands nice. <laughs> I mean, if, if I could get one for not much more than the retail of a nice, expensive custom, a modern custom, uh, I, would, I would probably hop on that opportunity. Yeah, but I'm, I mean, even with the nice customs that we see in today's modern age, um, I think I think the OTDs and DKs, in terms of acoustics and typing feel wise, they can still hang. Like that that has not. They have aged well in that sense. The anno quality. And their PCB que very questionable, but in terms of the functionality of that board, of those kinds of boards, uh, they still. Still, uh, very impressive. Right control giving me trouble for some reason. All right, everything 
is now straight. Let us test. How well we solder today. Uh, can you explain how you straighten the keys with the soldering iron? So for keys that aren't straight, what I'll do, I mean, what I'll do is I'll start twisting it in the direction I want so that it straightens the key while I heat up um, either of the pins. That's how I straighten my keys. And you heat up the you heat up the pin so that it allows for the switch pin and the switch to move and then also allows the solder to uh, re-cool and solidify so that it locks this, the pin in the right position. Uh, Tropic and Migster, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime subs. <laughs> Deldroy, thank you so much for the three months in a row. Uh, <sighs> All right, how well did I solder today? Thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. I would like to thank my parents, uh, Key Cult, friends and family for this uh, soldering job. Thank you, thank you. Oh, and Bulba too. I would like to thank Bulba, yes. All right, I'm gonna push the cable in as much as I can since I no, I no longer need it sticking out. Excited and ready to get this assembled back together. Let me take out the keycaps. It's a joke. Thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Ooh, you know what I think would look good on this board? This board is like meant, this colorway is meant for uh, uh, GMK Mizu. Solarize Dark. I'm, I'm not a fan of the blue, how the how the, the alpha blue turned out. I feel like Mizu would match this a lot more. I feel like, yeah, I'm not a, like Solarized Dark is a nice colorway, but the way that alpha turned out, the alpha color, it's nice, but I, I feel like it wouldn't match. It doesn't match as well with this dark navy. I feel like Mizu is probably better for a dark navy board like this. Yeah, I feel like once Mizu ships, I feel like if someone uh, if someone's Sarah coat matches their keyboard to GMK Mizu, that's gonna look real nice. GMK, yeah. Can you guys imagine a dark navy Sarah coated uh, keyboard? GMK Mizu would look really nice on it. All right. Uh, when you do any kind of oh okay so I failed to talk about this 
in the initial unboxing. But look, the Keycoat boards come with Tic Tacs. So there's one here, there's one here, I don't know if you guys can see it. And there's one here, and obviously on the other side as well. Uh, I'm a fan of these Tic Tacs, it helps for alignment. So on the other top end, you can see, where is it? Huh? Oh, right here. Uh, that's where the Tic Tacs meet, and it basically helps you to align the top and bottom piece together. Simple, simple idea, but very useful. I appreciate it when boards have this. All right, and now it's just a matter of screwing the top and bottom piece together. Tic Tacs equals yummy. I actually have not eaten Tic Tacs in quite a while. I was never a big Tic Tac kind of guy. I was more... I'm more of a Mentos or Trident gum kind of person. to check plate alignment on this too. I thought I wouldn't have to. Well, dang it, I shouldn't have taken off the keycaps. Keys look straight. Escape key looks centered. Right edge also centered. I think it's centered. Yo, AJ, hello. Long time no see, AJ. Yeah, the. This, this plays some tricks on you. The way the great plate peeks through, like the, makes you question the actual distance. I think this is good. I think we can tighten these down. 
better gaps than number two. Uh, I'm gonna have to tighten it down to see from the side. I can also bring out my number two for you guys to compare, so. Oh yeah, way better, <laughs> way better. I mean, the, the, the Navy definitely masks some of the gap, but no, this is definitely way better. The, the, uh, the case clearly extends past the keycaps. Uh, Sinful Cinnamon, thank you so much for the tier 1 sub. Yes, but why? Thank you so much for the 20 pi 25 bits. Uh, you're an aesthetic guy out of silver, gray, black, anal. Which do you think goes best with Oblivion? Gray, I, th I think Oblivion. You have to go gray case. Uh, Zed, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Normally, I try to incorporate some form of contrast if possible, but I feel like Oblivion is one of those sets where you just have to match the case to the keycap set. Uh, hey, it's that guy. Thank you so much for the two months in a row. Drews, thank you so much for the three months and enjoy your new uh, upgraded sub badge. And Topra, yeah, Topra is life. I love Topra. This is a Topra board. I'm using Topra right now. It is that time of rotation for me to enjoy Topra. Always a pleasure coming back to Topra. All right, let us take off these keycaps. I feel like Mr. Sleeves would also look good against this dark navy. On uh, Dare Mosan, thank you so much for the 300 bits. Uh, I need to add tactile bumps to some SD caps. Huh? What do you... Wait, what? You're trying to add a tactile bump to keycaps? Oh, the homing keys. Oh, I've never thought about aftermarket homing key modifications. What can you add? <laughs> um, yeah, what can you add to a keycap to add homing keys? You would need something that can withstand the curvature of it. Maybe cut out like a tiny piece of foam? Bear bearing ball. Whoa. I guess you could center a bearing ball and... <laughs> that, that's, that's not bad if the bearing ball is small enough. Alright. It's time for the keycaps, guys. So I, I did receive Hamon. I was going to unbox that on tomorrow's stream. And eh, would Hamon look good on this? Does chat think Hamon would look good on this navy and silver board? You can do... I'm gonna say might look pretty nice. Okay. Well... Ray, are you ready for the uh, are you ready for the straw poll? So, a brand new Hamon set is available. Uh, we could do nine zero zero nine, GMK nine zero zero nine. 
We could do GMK Pristine. We could do Modern Dolch. We could do GMK Muted. I go. Do GMK Olivia. Oh my god. Can the GMK white on black? And that's it. That is it. Let's see, did Ray get all the options? There you go, guys. Go vote for. Uh, raise straw poll while well, I pull up the browser for it. Hamon is winning. Wait. Oh, I also had Solarized. I also had GMK Solarized. Not the Penumbra with the White Alpha. Solarized would look. The, the Navy of Solarized would look pretty good with this too. It's okay. Override, it looks like a lot of people want an override. I mean, if you guys want an override, might as well just put Solarize then. <laughs> Sent you a PM, but good night. Oh, sweet. Okay, thank you, Invis. Are we, are we okay with going Solarized? It seems like a lot of people want Solarized. Override Hamon versus Solarized. Navy, red and white might look nice and Frenchy. All right. Okay, we're gonna redo this. Oh, Solarize is winning, what the heck? Solarize is such, so ahead. Oh my gosh, <laughs> it's not even a comp. <laughs> oh, it was a good run, GMK Hamon. I love Zombu Mom, but the chat has spoken. They want Solar Up. Ooh, yeah, this navy is a good match. This is a good navy match. It doesn't use the pea-colored alphas. Uh, actually, eh, not the best match I hoped for. You need the non-white alphas? Yuck. Yeah, this... I don't know how it looks on camera, but... In person, it's 
not the best. <laughs> can tell the difference in person yeah it's different oh wow i feel like this this has a bit more flex than the number one interesting i mean it's not a lot but I feel like I don't remember my number one flexing as much when I put keycaps on. You guys don't like white alpha solarized? What? It's the best solarized. This ain't it. Is chat regretting their decision? You guys voted for this, guys. If this ain't it, it's your fault. Yeah, chat, you guys brought this upon yourself. It, it's growing on me. It's not that bad, actually. It's not that bad. Yeah, I like it. It's, it's, it's growing on me. The, uh, the, the blue of the keycaps are on the greener side compared to the case, but I feel like my eyes are getting used to it. Uh, would you recommend Trebosis 3203 for Holy Pandas? Yes, I would. Why does everyone love Olivia so much? The person or the keycap set? Funny thing is that at the last second, Olivia took it by one more and it got refreshed. <laughs> the keycaps are, I think it's a great colorway. Very clean. It's clean while maintaining a bit of color. This has alt and alt grr. Also control. My windows keys. Then. Flip or no flip? Let's go no flip. You done goofed on the nav cluster. Whoa, what is this? <laughs> what is this?
Which keycaps are those? This is GMK Solarized. Looks pretty good. <sighs> All right, so this is the completed build for today. We have the key cult number one division one tko just going which will be live tomorrow hello focus there we go yes yeah, so i know some of you guys talked about the the keycap uh, gap being visible on the number two definitely a lot better on the number one revision one as I tilt it, only only once it's like pretty much face spot on, you can see the gap, but can't see it throughout. Text mods only suck. What? That's the best mod. Text mod only is the life. Oh my gosh! Look at this, guys. Look at this color. The USB port, very flush. You can see the nice Kiko logo engraved, centered above the port. Other side view. Are you a bit of an audiophile? I would like to be, but I don't really consider myself one. I haven't really dived into the audiophile world. So that's, that's, too, that's another expensive hobby I can't afford right now. All right. Shall we hear what this keyboard sounds like? Can we get the uh, words per minute? <laughs> Wilbur, how are you gonna put in a guess without even starting the bot? <laughs> Can we get the words per minute bot started? All right, the bot is live and accepting guesses. Place your bets, everyone. put in your guesses so once again these were built with retooled blacks that were lubed with Trebosis 3 till 4 uh, spring swapped to 62 gram spritz springs and they were switch stickered this is the key cult number one revision one it is using the GMK solarized keycap set Rolson124, thank you so much for the tier one sub. Man, I haven't done this in two weeks. Three, two, one. Oh, we do, we do. Caps lock is on. We do, we do. Some. One of my switches is clicking. That's, that's a switch fault. Three, two, one. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah.
No. One thirty three. Oh, we have a couple. All right. Let's go through the mods. So something is clicking. I, it's the switch's fault. I can't tell though when I go slowly, but all right, here we go. This is what the mods sound like. Sounds a little scratchy, yeah. So these are plate mount uh, MX blacks, which are a little bit scratchier, but they're not they're not that bad. They, these have been worn in for quite a bit. Ooh, enter sounds pretty nice. Trina, thank you so much for the host. It's too late for me to yell. Oh, I'm supposed to do it in a low voice. Hi, Trina. We, uh, we just built the board. This is the board we built today. It's the key cult number one, revision one. Will retail tomorrow for five hundred and fifteen dollars. What switches? These are using lubed MX blacks. I guess we can do another typing test since we got a fat raid. Uh, final eleven. Thank you so much for the two months. All right. Ah, uh, we do. I think my spacebar switch is clicking. I think it's the spacebar that's clicking. So bad. The raid made me too nervous. Oh my gosh. This is so bad. Oh, I still broke a hundred. What? Why did you just started the what? Okay, shenanigans started. I guess I'll have to do another typing test. Okay, I'll do. I'll do better. I I just choked. Cause Trina and Ryan are in chat. All right, I got this. I'm gonna I'm gonna hit that one thirty again. I got that 130. 
That was warm up? Yeah, that was warm up. Okay, this is the real run now. Yeah, so if you guys hear any clicking noises, um, that's because of the switches used. I'll probably have to find which one of these are clicking and then replace them afterwards. But yeah, that's not the keyboard's fault. I don't know if you guys can hear a clicking noise. I can I can hear some clicking. It's like a ticking, slight ticking noise. But yeah, that's due to the switch. Okay. 130. I'm going to guess 132 is the winning number. 132. Three, two, three, two. Does looping a switch really make that much of a difference? Yeah, Ryan, I think it really does. I mean, my, my keyboard sounds the way it does because of the lube. Unlubed. Do I have an unlubed? I can take, I can bring out an unlubed black and you can hear the difference. Okay. Three, two, one. Thirty one twenty two, damn. Oh, the homie four oh eight got one twenty two. Yeah, looping looping makes a huge difference. <sighs> Check Discord as this is real right now. I have no PMs. This is the build of today. Yeah, I think this looks fantastic. Uh, let me bring out the number, the original number one. Let's do some comparisons. Uh, bring the music back on. Mr. Ryan was asking how much of a difference a lube job has on your switch. Okay, so this is unlubed. Oh wait, the music's on. I'm smooth brain. <laughs> this is an unlubed black. This is a lube black. Unlubed. Lubed. Unlubed. Lubed. Yeah, so you can tell there's a difference. 
Um, when you lube it, it sounds a little bit deeper and lower pitched and it sounds less scratchy. So that lube, lube makes a big difference. Let us bring back the music. Okay, so I have here on my table, this is the original, this is what the original number one looked like. The first ever number one. This isn't from the original group by, this is from Type Machina, but design wise, uh, exactly the same. So you can see so it has that number one engraving, first of all. Well, there is no engraving at all on the bottom. They got rid of it. Astru, hello. Uh, final 11, thank you so much for the two months in a row. There is a difference. Um, Riot on the bay has also mentioned there is a difference in the curve. Yeah, so the whole curve was redesigned. The curve on the number, the, on the revision one, seems a little uh, less taller. I don't know if it's visible. I'm pretty sure it's longer here than it is here. So the curve is slightly different. Um, the, the angling of it also changed. I don't know if Key Cult is still around. They might have gone to sleep. I would place my bet that this is shorter than this. That's because the typing angle is lower. Did not know that. <laughs> Another big difference being the USB port is down here for the number one revision one. On the original number one, it breaks that uh, accent middle piece and is up here new one is smoother oh that is true that is true the new one is smoother yeah the radius is different okay i don't want to lift these up too high <laughs> but yes the, the there's a bit of a is it a fillet this there's a fillet here there's none there's a Maybe a slight chamfer here. Yeah, so this has a fillet. This does not. Yeah, so it's definitely sharper here. Less sharp on this. Uh, screw placement wise. Screw, the screws have also changed. So as you can see on this bottom, oh, you can't see the on here, the bottom one has one, two, three, four, five screws. There's only four screws on the number one. Actually, there's five both ways and four both ways. So yeah, screws is different. I got ignore. What'd you say? <laughs> See how it's a sharper curve at the OG at the curve, like at the turn. Ah, I see. I see. Yeah, so the curvature here is a wider radius than it is here. Uh, Derry Mosan, thank you so much for the tier 3 sub, what? Tier 3, thank you so much. Uh, how does the Navy compare to the Aegis Navy? I don't have the Aegis anymore, that was not my keyboard. That was a customer build. I can't really say. The, the Aegis was also a pretty dark Navy. Yeah, I'm not sure. So let's take a look at the differences here. So yeah, number one, revision one, looks a lot cleaner in my opinion. Because you no longer, because the USB port is moved down here, you now don't have a break in this uh, accent piece aesthetic. Whereas for here, it breaks it there. This, this is a, comparing these two designs, this breakage with the USB port deserves a Dan's game. But this is a this is a pre-nut. This is Dan's game, this is pre-nut. It's also thinner 
That is true, yeah. So the, the accent piece here is thinner. If you compare the width of the silver to the width of the pink, the silver is skinnier. Yeah, that is true. Um, if you joined in on, if you have both the gaskets on the number one revision one, will be thicker, I believe. The ones used in the number one, they are not the poron material, I think. Some other rubber, I believe. It's not the same thickness. If you put them front to front, new one is also lower. Okay, let's see if I can show that. Ah, oh, you can, yeah, you can see that the navy is slightly lower than the black. Silicone much thinner and only ones. Yeah, that is true, yeah. So yeah, you can see the number one revision one. Or you can even tell it's a lower angle than the number one. Big difference. So I feel like the number one revision one, better ergonomics for typing at least. Um, it's not too angled, but it has a it has somewhat of an angle. The front height is also a little bit lower, uh, which I like. If the front height's too tall, it forces you to use a wrist rest, which not everyone likes. Uh, SN Foil, thank you so much for the 25 bits. What type of foam is best? Should I buy sorbethane or is there another more generic foam better? Uh, I mean, sorbethane technically is the best, but I don't think there's enough space for it to really matter. Yeah, if you can't afford sorbethane, you, I, I mean, I use shelf liner, just some generic shelf liner, perfectly fine. Yeah. Yeah, and I, and I also, I think this is my favorite part of the revision one. I like the little logo, the little accent, slight, slight design change, but I think it makes a world of a difference. Hmm. This is definitely lighter. I'm assuming less material used for this case. Uh, it is a lower angle, so probably that contributes to the lighter weight. So the number one revision one, oh, we can weigh it, I'm done. I have a scale. Khaki hat, thank you so much for the 100 bits. We need a smooth brain. <laughs> yeah, lower range equals less material, yep. All right, so the number, the number one revision one completely built with an aluminum plate weighs four pounds, 10.9 ounces. Whoa. Oh, I just teared it, GG. Whoops. Okay, we, we don't need to go with metric. Well, the original number one. Oh, it's a good one pound heavier. That's a pretty big difference. It's a good one pound heavier. So there you go. Uh, Astro, thank you so much for the 100 bits. I'm looking for a new keyboard that got Zelios V2 and that isn't, that is RGB, any ideas? Uh, no keyboard comes with Zelios V2s. Uh, Zelios V2s are boutique switches that you can only purchase loose as loose switches, so you would need to do a build with it. Um, and that is RGB. Ooh, RGB. I mean, that's a vague question. <laughs> depends on your layout. Uh, depends on what form factor you want. Yeah. Yeah, that is the difference. Can you guys see the difference? So the number the number one doesn't really budge much. The number two, this one though, 
Punch is a bit more. I mean the the, the the change in typing feel isn't too different in my opinion. They're both really solid. Like if I had to guess, maybe there's a slight marginal increase in flex or uh, cushioning with this, but yeah, it's, it's not super noticeable. Yeah, there's a bit more give here. Obviously, different colors. But yeah. This is the keyboard that will be going live tomorrow at 10 a.m. Eastern? Pacific? 10 a.m. and 10 p.m. On keycult.io, keycult is in chat. Eastern, 10 a.m. Eastern time. It will open for three minutes. You can enter the raffle. And then it will also reopen at 10 p.m. Eastern time, but only apply to one of them. If you if you sign up twice, you're gone. Uh, OMGT, I love your mouse pad. Ooh, yeah. You can get this on dixiemech.com slash types. Trina, if you like this. Whoa, Naren, hello. I haven't seen you in a while. How have you been? I feel like you haven't been streaming as much lately. I haven't been able to stop by your streams. You travel? No, I, you're traveling? It seems like you were traveling on Instagram. I forget. Oh no, she's been depressed. Can we get some Teha hearts for Naren Dipity? Deepak25, thank you so much for the two months in a row. Hope you feel better, Naren. It's not a fun time to be depressed. Uh, Jang, thank you so much for the three months in a row. Yeah, Naren also streams, guys. She does uh, ASMR, sings. She was a Twitch Sings finalist. You guys should check her out. Which colorway do you guys like better? You guys like black, pink theme, or? Navy and silver. <laughs> Thank you so much, Jing. Y'all should collab ASMR. I don't. <laughs> I guess we could if I ever. Yeah, it it is possible if Naren likes me enough. <laughs> uh, Frostfire. Thank you so much for the three months in a row as well. Yeah, sometimes when I push down on my when I push down on my some of my keys, they either stick for a quick second or make a click noise, but only on like three of them. Any help? Uh, you would need to replace them, desolder it, and, and re resolder a brand new switch. You'd be good at ASMR. I don't think so. <laughs> I feel like ASMR is not as easy as it seems. You have to, it takes practice. What is this straw poll, Ray? What did you do? Oh, okay, fine. I will, I will allow this straw poll. Oh, Navy and Silver is winning. Well, looks like Key Cult did something right. <laughs> it would have been it would have been a shame if their newest release was less liked than their previous release. <laughs> yeah. What's on your agenda, mate? Uh, Blackpink straight to the trash. Ooh, I don't know about that. I mean, Blackpink. I like both. They are very different color schemes. Yeah. Um.
I mean, th this might vary from keyboard to keyboard, but the seam... I mean, it, it exists on both keyboards, you can feel it, but it's a lot smoother and less, less uh, offensive on the number one revision one. Yeah, that is true. It is different from board to board. Just might be this one was slightly worse off tolerance, but yeah. Number one, revision one. Tomorrow, guys, 10 a.m. or 10 p.m. Eastern time. Be there. Best of luck. If you do miss out on the raffle, there will be 10 sold through a victory auction. Obviously going to be pricier, but if you really do want it, you do have a second chance. Make a pink keyboard and then have a giveaway and rig it so I win. <laughs> Great build. Catch you at the end of the next one. Thank you for stopping by, Mr. Hinks. Thank you, thank you. Key cult equals equals dream keyboard. Yeah, no key cult. Um, if you guys haven't watched the the key, uh, whoa. I can if you remember me, but I text you in our tweet to the Tashi hat. Pagodi wanted to know on your socha and or ammo you pay ship or since I am getting it as my first custom keyboard. Oh, you're the person who tagged me on Josh Hart's... Actually, I think multiple people did, so I'm not sure who that is. But uh, thank you for the $5 donation. Uh, my thoughts on the Rama U80. I'm a fan of Rama's aesthetics. I personally like Rama's aesthetics, so that's a yes for me. Um, if you're asking about how the acoustics or typing feel is going to be, you can't really predict that. That's Typing feel and acoustics aren't something you can really predict. Uh, Rama's trying something new, so I, I have no idea what it's going to be like. Yeah. Uh, where was I? Yes, I was saying, if you guys haven't seen the KeekCon designers panel that I led, uh, right on the bay was on that panel, and he, he said himself, he aesthetics is a big key point from him, and um, I... Ever since I saw the original run of the number one, I was like, I need to have this. Um, TKLs are my favorite layout, and when I saw the number one, it was like love at first sight. So I got the number one. Number one revision one, I don't think will disappoint anyone either. Yeah, key cult aesthetics are very nice. Very nice. I've, I can, I vibe with key cult aesthetics. All right, that was the end of today's stream. Hopefully, hopefully you guys liked it. Hopefully I persuaded some of you guys to go out and get the number one revision one tomorrow. <laughs> I vibe with you, Kiko. I'm surprised you're still awake, dang. Oh, another big thing I noticed. This has bump-ons. So I know I know some people don't like bump-ons because it ruins the aesthetics. Um, it also adds a bit of height. I personally am a fan of bump-ons. I can, I can understand why people don't like bump-ons, but I, I personally like bump-ons. Um, especially someone like me who like moves their keyboard around a lot. Um, I would much rather slide my boards across on bump-ons than the actual board itself. So that's, that's also another plus for me. I, I didn't realize the original one didn't come with bump-ons. Yeah. Who doesn't like bump-ons? Oh, there's people who don't like bump-ons. The bezel on the front of the case is a lot smaller. Yeah, it is. Oh, the bezel? Is it? Oh, Dixie. Dixie also saying a correct statement so the bezel here is a lot uh, thicker than it is on the number one revision one I didn't realize that I feel like the sides are also skinnier so yeah so this board slimmed down a bit the top might be the same 
but the sides and front definitely got skinnier. Number one, revision one, lost some weight. Yeah. I'm surprised you caught that through the stream. <laughs> I like both, yeah. I mean, I am perfectly fine with the number one, the original one. I still love this, it's a beautiful board. Revision one, also great. That designer eye? Yeah, seriously. Alright, well, I will be streaming tomorrow uh, at 3.30 p.m. Pacific time. So I hope to see you guys then. Is there uh, anyone we can raid tonight? Uh, to celebrate Dixie's 200 IQ, we need to play Keyboard Road again. <laughs> Should we play it again? Raid Luke from Linus Tech Tips? He raids? I mean, he streams? I don't know his stream. I did play it already, Mr. Petrov. Oh, this man does stream. Should we give him a raid? I'm down to raid this man. Let's see if he notices us. What should we what should we uh, what should we say to him? Show us your keyboard? Show us your mechanical keyboard. New keyboards, uh, I feel like they wouldn't get that. Let's let's say show us your mechanical keyboard. Oh, so you like keyboards, eh? I'm, I'm good with that. So this is going to be the spam message. All right. I'm gonna go raid Mr. Luke Luffer. Uh, once again, thank you to Key Cult for this stream. This was a stream dedicated to them. And I'm sure if you guys met uh, Riot and Loud of Laughs uh, at KeyCon, both lovely and handsome folks. Uh, it was my first time meeting them at KeyCon. So, yeah. Uh, great people. Great people who make great boards. I, yeah. <laughs> All right, any final questions, comments, concerns? What do you think about Nolives going with a lighter gold-plated spring? Uh, I like them. 62 grams is personally a weight I really like. So I figure 63.5, not much of a difference. Opinions on inks. I really like them. Inks are great. I got a couple on the restock. Alright, the raid is going to happen now, so I will see you guys all tomorrow, 3.30 p.m. Pacific time. Best of luck to everyone entering the raffle. So until then, see ya nerds.